Are you single? What? Okay, I want to answer this question. In the future, I'll be very private with who I'm dating. I know I used to like put it on the internet or whatever the fuck, but I'm not doing that no more. I don't give a fuck. I'll put everything on YouTube. Not everything, but I'm very open. I just personally feel like I leave somebody, I feel like my taste change and I just look at them like, you're not my type anymore. It was no shade. I was just saying my hair wasn't happy. I'm not talking to my own people. I'm fucking black. Would you try eating ass? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I don't see nothing wrong with it either. How do you feel about Lindasia exposing you sent a you sent Ray a squirt video? What's up my chaos kids? Welcome back to the dollhouse. If you are new to the dollhouse, go ahead and subscribe and click that notification. Click that notification so you get notified whenever I post a new video. So welcome back to the dollhouse. Walking your trap and take over. Over. Name another bitch that's cold. Name another bitch that's cold. I just bought a brand new rover. Rover. I don't even drive no more. I got a show. I got a show. Took off, man. They asking me to slow up. Took off. Getting wiser and my money getting older. Older. And that bitch, I ain't even gonna hold you. That bitch. And that bitch, man. I thought that they told you. That bitch. And y'all, for some reason, y'all really wanted me to do a updated Q&A video. And y'all usually never like press me for an updated Q&A video. I usually just give it to y'all. But it gotta be a reason why y'all want an updated Q&A. I don't know if it's cause it's a new year, new stuff been going on in my life, y'all peeping it. I don't know, but y'all wanted it real bad. Y'all was in my DMs about it real bad. So I wanna give it to y'all. I'ma give y'all what y'all want. I always give y'all what y'all want and I always give y'all the tea. Okay. Also, before we get into this video, you guys, get into the fit. Yeah, get into the fit. I'm wearing Fashion Nova. This is their, I forgot what this is called, but it will be linked down below in the description box so you guys can purchase this dress. This is a jean dress and it's tall girl friendly. Y'all know I'm 5'7 and it goes down to my ankles. I would stand up and show y'all, but the way the camera's angled, can't really see. But I got this dress in a size medium. It's super stretchy. I could have did a small, but I did a medium. Y'all see, can y'all see? Can they see the, uh, they see the that? They see it? It's moving, it's moving, keep it. Fashion Nova always go comfortable with the dresses. And look how it just shaped me, y'all. Yeah, hope your nigga not watching. Cause he go, <laughs> he go love this. Shop Fashion Nova, y'all, y'all see the girls, they poking. Dress is super comfortable, super stretchy. Like it's not, y'all know how some jean dresses be like super hard, you can't really move on them. Y'all seen the ass is just wiggling and jiggling in this video. I mean in this dress and in the video. But that just goes to show y'all how stretchy and comfortable this dress is. Like, I don't feel uncomfortable in this dress, so that's a good thing. And you know, I'm super curvy. A lot of jean stuff don't really fit me well, doesn't suit my body well, like jean shorts, jean skirts, even a jean dress wouldn't really suit my body well, but Fashion Nova jean dresses, yeah. Okay guys, so before I finish the video, I really wanna show you guys this dress with me like standing up so you guys can really get a good look at it. This is a dress, and like I said, tall girl friendly. This dress literally goes all the way down to my ankles. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it's super long, it's stretchy, it's comfortable. And right now I have it untied so I can show you guys how it looks tied up. How I tie it basically. Just like that. Okay, like I said, you guys could dress this dress up, you could dress it down. Um, these are the accessories I have on. And y'all, this necklace is so heavy. I gotta show y'all this. And I feel like it goes perfect with this Fashion Nova dress because this Fashion Nova dress has like a edgy look to it, like this black and gray acid wash. Super cute, right you guys? Look how long this dress is. It is so stretchy. <laughs> and these are the earrings that I wore. Okay. Y'all need to go ahead and shop Fashion Nova, link to the recipe down below in the description box so you guys can click on it, shop now. They have plenty of jean dresses, not only the black acid wash, they have regular acid wash, regular blue, brown, pink, whatever type of jean color you can think of, Fashion Nova has it, so go ahead and shop. Okay, so let's get to the questions. I went on Instagram, had y'all ask me some questions, and I think I'm gonna do something different in this video. I'm gonna try to answer all. Let's start at the bottom. Okay, first question. I'm tired of this question. Stop asking me this question. Y'all keep asking me, when am I gonna have a baby? 
I don't know. Stop asking me that. Y'all ask me that all the time. I get it. I'm getting older. I don't know. And it's also not very polite to press a woman to have a child when they become a certain age. Like, I feel like after 25, when a woman doesn't have a child, that's when everybody's, like, pressuring them to have kids. And it's literally no rush. Like, relax. Okay? I don't know. There, there goes the answer. Um, what are your plans this year, YouTube-wise? Are you going the reality TV route? And yes, I am. I feel like if I'm being open and honest with you guys, which I always am, I kind of feel like I lost my love for YouTube. And I feel like y'all also see that because I don't post like that. But that's because I fell in love with doing reality TV shows. So this year, I'm going to be dropping shows on YouTube every month, once a month. But if that show gets picked up by a TV network, that's different. It probably won't be on YouTube that month. But the goal this year for YouTube is to drop reality TV shows on this channel only. I have a separate channel, Life of K, where I post like vlogs vlogs, story times, like more personal intimate videos is on my other channel. Y'all know this is the lit channel. So yeah, that's the plan for that. How's life been treating me? Life's been treating me good. We're in what, the third month? By the way, my birthday is next month, which you guys already know. Yeah, Aries gang, April 9th, save the date. Uh, but yeah, life's treating me good so far. 2024 has been cool. I just wanna go harder. Like, I feel like I've been holding back a lot and I've been like super comfortable in my zone. This year, I just wanna go harder. I wanna work harder and I wanna go big. What's your favorite memory this far into the year? My favorite memory this far into the year is Valentine's Day. That was, I had a good Valentine's Day this year. Where are you going for your birthday this year? So I'm going to Aruba and I'm going to Miami. The reason why I'm doing two places is because my birthday falls on a Tuesday and I like doing my trips on the weekend. The past few years, my birthday I always feel like on a Sunday, like last year was on Easter Sunday, or it's on a Saturday or a Friday. This year it's on a Tuesday. So we're gonna do Aruba that weekend and then go to Miami for my actual birthday. How can somebody get on one of your shows? So whenever I do a casting call, I always post a flyer on Instagram. If you don't follow me on Instagram and you wanna get on my show, you're doing the wrong thing. Follow me on Instagram so you can see when I post the flyers for the cast call so you could potentially, possibly get on the show. Are you and Ray cool? Yeah, it's no beef. I know y'all seen what her and her ex had going on. The internet, it's no beef. I don't got time for shit like that. Like, I don't got beef for nobody. And that was none of my business even though my name was brought into it. It was none of my business. Like, I don't have time for shit like that. What is your ethnicity or nationality? I am Creole. If you wanna go into depth with it, my mom is Creole. My dad is Cuban and Creole. Um, my grandfather on my mom's side is Creole. My grandmother on my mom's side is black. My dad's dad is Cuban and Creole. And my dad's mom is white and black. So I just sound Creole though. I'm not gonna say all that extra shit. How to maintain keeping up with your lashes, nails, and hair done frequently. By the way, I love you. I love you too. I feel like I need to vlog more when it comes to me getting my hair done, my nails done, lashes. But how I maintain it, um, if you're talking about like paying for it, maintaining it, I just work hard. And then, girl, use these niggas money to pay for some hair and some nails, some lashes sometimes. That's what they're good for. But outside of paying for it, I don't know, I was just raised that way. Like when I was a child, if I had a chip on my nail, I would get in trouble. Like, I know that's so dumb to get in trouble about, but my mom would dead ass get on my ass. Like, my toes wasn't done. If I didn't have on lip gloss, if I didn't have my purse with lip gloss in it, my mom was not playing that. So, I always keep myself up. As a woman, I feel like that's very important, especially when you get into a relationship. I notice, like, a lot of women, when they get into relationships, they kind of lose themselves. They stop getting their hair done. They stop wearing makeup. They stop getting their lashes done. But I feel like you always should want to impress your man all the time and always look good or even better than when he first met you. So yeah, just that's how I maintain it. Working hard so I'm able to provide for myself and able to afford those type of things all the time. Who's the new man keeping you smiling? It's none of your business, you're my business. I've seen another question by said, Kiana, who's the new boo the K-Dolls wanna know? You're not gonna know. Um, I also expressed probably a few months ago how like in the future, I'll be very private with who I'm dating. I know I used to like put it on the internet or whatever the fuck, but I'm not doing that no more. When I say dating, I'm not talking about relationship. Let's clear the air there because for some reason y'all be really confused with that. Dating is like you're just going on dates, you're getting to know somebody or you're just, oh, you're just exclusively dating that one person and then relationship is just like you and that person. But I am dating and will I be open about it? Mm, probably not. I'm really answering all these questions, y'all. Would you ever date a girl again? I can't really answer that question. I don't want to say no and then I don't want to say yeah. But as of now, I don't see myself dating a girl. Um, I only see myself like dating men. 
Did you go to college? Yes, I went to college for two years. I ended up dropping out for YouTube and now I'm here. Uh, okay, so shout out to Wani. Shout out to you, girl, Wani. Two underscores Empire 40. One of my biggest supporters. Love you. She asked me, what can we expect from Kiana this year? And can we get a story time video? Yes, y'all. Okay, a lot of y'all been wanting me to sit down and do a story time. I owe you guys a story time. I really do. I think it's the mushroom story time that y'all want me to tell y'all. Because Neek shared her story time. And y'all wanted me to share mine. So I owe y'all a story time. What you guys can expect from me this year is more reality shows, launching businesses, and just being more focus and really tapping into my grown woman era more vlogs more personal vlogs and just more content this year have you ever thought about getting your face your face piercing again no only piercing i'm going to keep my face is my nose i wouldn't pierce my face again because as y'all can see it left a scar permanent scar my eyebrow piercing can't really see that scar but i wouldn't put another piercing in my face how do you feel about Lindasia exposing you sent a you sent ray a squirt video it was very random and weird <laughs> that was like so random and weird. I don't give a fuck. I put everything on YouTube. Not everything, but I'm very open. Um, it was very weird. I don't feel no type of way towards Lindasia or Ray. But if you're asking how I feel about the whole situation, it was so random and weird. Like I was literally on a flight to Italy while I'm being brought up on Twitter. Like, I don't know. It was just it was weird and random. Like what why y'all say fuck me for? What's that TikTok? Say fuck Nelly, fuck 50. What you say fuck me for? That's how I felt. Like what what was the point? I don't know the point. I guess the point was just to put Kiana J business out there and just throw Kiana J name in there because you know Kiana J name and some shit it add a little razzle dazzle a little spice i get it but that shit was weird um have you ever thought about getting back with one of your exes absolutely not y'all know i don't go back to exes when have i ever went back to it i stand on business when i say that shit y'all ain't never see me go back to ex um no shade to my exes i just personally feel like when i leave somebody i feel like my taste change and i just look at them like you're not my type anymore no shade to my exes they cool they cool but i just wouldn't see myself in a relationship with them again. I feel like I'm a new woman. My mindset is different. What I like is different compared to when I was dating them. Like if me and my, if I had a boyfriend at the time and we broke up for like a week, yeah, I would go back. But when it's been like, you got two months. Once we break up, you got two months to get me back. After two months, I'm on to the next nigga. Goodbye. Would you ever do a sit down with Abby? Um, probably, probably not right now. Probably in the future, but probably not right now. Um, when are you going to pop out on G? Pop out with what? A nigga? Child, I don't know. If that's what you're talking about. Pop out with a, a nigga? I, I don't know. I, I don't know how to answer that, y'all. So it might be third day here. I don't know. Um, so somebody asked, who was I seeing in Italy, Miss Girl? Mm. <laughs> nobody i just love italy like i love italy are you doing a dollhouse university season two absolutely yes i am doing a dollhouse university season two and i can't wait to drop that because i know it's gonna be crazy like chef's kiss <laughs> why somebody just said not you talking down on your own people talking about no perm no nappy headed hoes you are no, I'm not talking down on anybody. All I was saying was, if you didn't see y'all, I posted a video on my hair and I said, no perm on you nappy head hoes. Like, I wasn't saying it like that. It wasn't no problem with Nicki Minaj said in her song. What's that one song she said? Um, you nappy headed hoes need a permanator. <laughs> it wasn't no problem then. Y'all was singing a the song then, but when I say it, it's a problem. I'm not talking down on my own people. I'm black. I'm just saying I, my hair, I just don't. Ain't nothing wrong with nappy hair. It's like trying to explain something, but you still yeah. sound wrong. Was that wrong? No, I'm laughing at his phone. Oh. Yeah. Cause they was start calling me and said, must be pussy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Lesson you learned this past year. The biggest lesson I learned in 2023. That's a good question. Um, I want to say the biggest lesson I learned was to speak up. And like if something's bothering you, speak on it, don't hold it in. Because when you hold it in, you just explode and you can't really handle the outcome of that situation versus if you was to speak on it ahead of time, you could have worked it out with that person, whatever the case may be. That's like one of the lessons I learned in 2023. I'm trying to think what else. Um, Yeah, just speak up when something's bothering you. Are you single? Yes, I am single. What, okay, I wanna answer this question. Somebody asked, my hands actually? Somebody asked, 
What is your current title slash chapter called in your life right now? I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure this shit out. That's the title. And I say that because like I'm in this like weird little bubble where it's like I'm still young, but I'm getting older. 26 is still very, very young. But it's like, I feel like when you, after you hit 25, you're in this like weird bubble where it's like, okay, what's next? Like you realize your body is changing. Like I'm just more like, I analyze a lot of stuff now and I'm just trying to figure it out. That's all. What's your sign? I'm an Aries, a big Aries gay. Um, if you wanna know my whole chart, I'm an Aries. That's my sign, April 9th. My sun is in Sagittarius and my moon is in Taurus. Biggest ick in a guy. Niggas that don't got their passport, it's an ick. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna throw the fuck up. Cause what do you mean? Like, I like to travel. Biggest ick, guys that don't like to travel, guys that don't like trying new things. If you don't like trying new things, I'm not talking about in the bedroom. I'm not talking about that at all. I'm talking about in life, trying new restaurants, trying new foods, trying new activities outdoors. Just trying stuff that you've never done before or just being spontaneous. People that's not like that, men that's not like that, it's like a big ick of mine because I feel like it's like an Aries thing. We're super fun, we're super spontaneous. We bring out sides of people that they never knew they had. And if you don't let me bring out that side in you, it's like, ew. When is your next tour? Good question. I'm thinking about going on tour again this summer. I went on tour last year, a year ago, actually a year ago. Um, tour was great, tour was fun, but it was my first tour and I learned a lot from that tour to take care of my body give myself time, it's okay to take a break. I like to just go, 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 go. So on tour, it was just like city after city after city after city. When I should've took a break in between. So this summer, I wanna do like city after city. I probably just do weekends. So like Friday, Saturday, Sunday, different cities, and then come back to Houston, take a break, take care of my body, eat healthy, get energized, and then do it again. I noticed when I went on tour last year, since it was city after city, I started to get drained and I started to get frustrated with my fans. By the end of the tour, I was kind of like giving up and I wasn't putting my all into it because I was tired. So that's something I learned from tour, but I'm definitely gonna go on tour this summer. That's a goal of mine. How many children do you want? I want one. Yeah, he knows. What? Yeah, oh yeah, one. And my man want two, I'll give him two. Three, you're pushing it. Are you going to the Nikki tour? Yes, I'm going to the Nicki Minaj tour. Um, okay. Y'all asking the same thing. So I'm just gonna end it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A. It was fun, it was cute. Y'all really been wanting this Q&A for some reason. So here you go, first Q&A of 2024. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to subscribe to my personal channel, Life of K. Follow me on Instagram at the real Kiana J. You guys can also subscribe to my Facebook account. I'm now on Facebook where I post all my funny challenges, funny vlogs, whatever is funny and interesting is on my Facebook account. It's Kiana J. And I'll see you guys soon.